Hi guys, Dr. Cliff here with HearingLoss.com and in this video I'm talking about how to know if you have a hearing loss. Hearing loss can sometimes be difficult to identify because it's hard to know what you're missing. This is different than what you experience with vision loss where you know you should be seeing something, you just can't. On top of this, with most people who start to experience hearing loss, it is a gradual process. It isn't like you just wake up one morning and you have bad hearing. It typically takes years to develop to a point where hearing difficulty is perceived. But that's not all. It's important to understand that this gradual decline in hearing ability also typically starts in the higher frequency ranges. In general, when we look at the range of human hearing, we can split it into low frequency, mid frequency, and high frequency ranges just like on a piano keyboard. The low and mid frequencies are responsible for the perception of volume, while the high frequencies are responsible for the perception of clarity in speech. If you have a gradual decline in the high frequency ranges, then you typically perceive that you can still hear people talking, you just feel like they're not speaking clearly. And to add insult to injury, this gradual decline in high frequency hearing ability reduces your ability to understand speech in background noise situations. This is due to the fact that background noise typically resides in the lower frequency ranges that you can still hear pretty well, and the human brain relies on the high frequency speech components that are missing due to your hearing loss in those ranges. This means that you do not have the ability to actually do the separation of speech from the background noise. Armed with this understanding of a typical hearing loss, what signs can you look for to identify if you or someone you know has a hearing loss? First, you want to pay attention to how clearly you can understand someone talking, even if you feel that they're speaking loud enough. This is due to the fact that you may still have good low frequency hearing, but bad high frequency hearing. Second is if you're struggling to get clarity from the TV, no matter how much you turn up the volume. This is because over amplification of the low frequencies are drowning out your access to the high frequency speech components. Third is if you struggle to understand someone when they're facing away from you. It is common for individuals with hearing loss to require visual cues by looking at someone's mouth while they're talking. This is because your brain can fill in some of the missing gaps of speech information by looking at mouth movements. And the fourth dead giveaway that you may have a hearing loss is if you're struggling to understand someone who is talking to you in background noise. So if you struggle to hear in restaurants, airplanes, or during conversations when the TV is still on, there is a good chance that you have a hearing loss. Now if you are not 100% sure if you or someone you know has a hearing loss, you can always take an online hearing screener like the guided hearing experience that you can find at hearingloss.com. The guided hearing experience hearing screener will help you to identify if you may have a hearing loss and what you can do about it. If you would like to learn more about hearing loss and your possible treatment options, make sure that you like and subscribe to the hearingloss.com YouTube channel for more educational videos.